Yes, it's finally here, the settings video. This is for all of you commenting and asking me in my live chats, what settings should I use? In this video, I'll be going not just over which settings are important, but also why they are important in the finals. Let's do this. All right, so I'm just going to kind of run through all of my settings. So I'm just going to start here in gameplay and move all the way over to the right. So starting with gameplay, this is really kind of per person, right? I've got crossplay on. I have auto sprint off because I think it is much more consistent for movement. And sometimes in higher levels, you want to specifically walk or crouch to give the enemy less audio cues, especially if you're like stalling a cash out or walking up onto a point and preparing for like an ambush or something like that. So me personally, I like to leave auto sprint off. Then I have melee aim assist on. There's really no reason to have this off unless you're a dagger player. If you're a dagger player, this can mess up with doing the whole dash backstab thing. But if you are just a normal player, leave this on. It's going to make your melees feel more consistent. And then for the interface, uh, please leave your enemy team colors on. You really need this. Don't turn that off. In World Crosshair, turn this off. This is going to make it be that kind of jittery moving crosshair. You don't want that. You don't want that. So turn in-world crosshair off. All of this other stuff right here, center dot, I have off. Uh, keep in mind this crosshair is not for your scopes. This is purely for your hip fire, unless you're running something like Beagle or something like that, in which case I will sometimes actually change it. But this is like the hip fire that I use for all my assault rifles and my shotguns, all of that good stuff. So I have center dot off just for like a different clarity when I'm aiming in. I just like this as a hip fire crosshair better unless I'm playing like counter strike or something, in which case I might prefer a dot. But this is what I like for the finals because you're doing a lot more tracking. Dispersion reticle, keep this off too. Uh, you don't need that. And then static reticle. This is all the stuff that you want and this is the stuff that you want to customize. If you want my specific crosshair, here is everything that you need to do to get it. But this is what I personally have. The only thing that I would recommend you turn off is in-world crosshair, keep this off and keep off a dispersion reticle. That's just distracting. Controller, I don't play controller. So if you're a controller player, use whatever you feel like. I play mouse and keyboard, so sorry controller players. I wish I could help you, but I can't. All right, my mouse and keyboard settings. As you can see, my look sensitivity is 19. I have a DPI of 1600, and I also have a final mouse competition along with a glass pad. So this is a very, very, very glidey setup. This is not for everybody. For me, this just feels like really, really smooth. It's just, it feels responsive. It feels natural to me. This is basically just like the super, super glidey setup. It's not for everybody, but if you want to run something like this, I guarantee that your aim will probably improve like just your control over the mouse because it literally forces you to get better. But yeah, uh, 19 for look sensitivity. I like this higher look sensitivity for tracking, all of that stuff. If you like to run a lot of flick shot weapons, if you run like the model or the revolver, I would probably say that you should probably have it on the lower end. A good middle ground that a lot of players, a lot of good players have is 15. Anywhere within like the 13 to 20 sensitivity range, I would say is optimal for this game, but you can kind of run whatever. I'm definitely on the higher end. Mouse zoom sensitivity multiplier. You want to keep this at 100% in my opinion. This is just changing your individual scope sensitivity settings. Me personally, I do aim trainers every once in a while, and I feel like having my scope sensitivity be the exact same as my normal look sensitivity feels so much more consistent to me. When I first did this, it was an apex and it was a little bit of a struggle to get used to it at first, but in the long run, I think it made me much better at games. Then we have scoped zoom sensitivity multiplier. I think this is only applicable to sniper rifle and tracking dart. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the only point where I've like actually noticed a difference with this setting in particular. So I have mine way lower on those things because like the magnification on those is like crazy. So I do have that in particular set to 29%. But yeah, so that's the only scope sensitivity that I actually have changed. These two things I've got off. Then for my keybinds, 
WASD. I know some people make an argument for using something else instead of these. I'm kind of classic. I like my WASD jump. I have spacebar. I also have it set to down scroll wheel. You do not need a down scroll wheel in the finals, in my opinion. I feel like the normal jump is very, very consistent. But if you want to, if this helps you play the game better, you can run a scroll wheel. I think spacebar is just fine, though. I have toggle sprint on. Uh, I do not recommend hold the sprint. Toggle sprint makes so many of the movement things in this game way easier. Turn on toggle sprint, please. I would leave auto sprint off, turn toggle sprint on. My specialization, I have this to my uh, top mouse button. I feel like this just makes it more consistent for doing things like winch, doing things like dash, especially grapple, all of those things it just makes it more responsive. And it also helps me do all of my movement keys and everything very, very freely while I do my specializations. I recommend that you set a specialization to the mouse button. Reload is R, ping is Z. I know some people like middle mouse click for pinging. I don't recommend this. I recommend Z. And the reason for this is because if you're shooting at people in this game and you want to ping them at the same time, you would have to take one of your fingers off of your mouse usually to ping them. And you do not want to do that. And sometimes you can ping people through trees and it can help you like track them through foliage and all of that. So have your ping set to something that you can hit with your left hand or whatever your keyboard hand is and do that instead. Don't have it mouse middle click. I think that's bad. Quick melee. Quick melee is my uh, lower mouse button. This was much more important back when you could do quick melee chains and stuff with a lot of weapons. They've kind of fixed that now. So it's not quite as important, but I feel like just having it as a mouse button is much more responsive. You'll notice here that I also have two different binds for crouch. I have left control being hold to crouch and C being toggle crouch. So if you're like crouch spamming in the middle of engagements or something like that, I think having hold to crouch bound to left control makes it just a lot more consistent and see that's a crouch that i use for movement chains and stuff like that so two different crouch keys for two different situations then i have a aim down sight set to hold i know there's an argument to setting it to toggle so i'm not going to tell you that one is worse than the other there's a reason to have toggle instead of hold because when you click down on your mouse you're creating tension inside your hand which just changes the way that you aim slightly so if you want to be 100 percent optimal you can run toggle but i personally feel like i'm more consistent with hold but I'm not going to tell you that one is better than the other, really. These are all my silly keys, emo and expression, all of that stuff. I have my weapon to one, gadgets to three and four. Don't use scroll wheel. There is really no reason to be using scroll wheel other than just convenience. Some people are just so used to scroll wheel that they don't like changing off of it. Trust me, playing with scroll wheel makes you worse at the game because it makes it so that you cannot switch to your things precisely. And that's just another thing that you have to like worry and care about. Once you use number keys, you can just, you don't have to think about it anymore. It's just so easy. Switch to number keys. Don't use scroll wheel. Those are my mouse and keyboard settings. Now for accessibility, I have colorblind mode off. If a certain colorblind mode helps you to differentiate between certain people, go for it. Uh, invert flashbang color I have on. That is also for YouTube videos and also for my own eyes. So what invert flashbang color does, if you don't know, is that it makes your whole screen turn black instead of white when you get flashbang, which looks much nicer on YouTube videos. So I have that on. Some of you also might want that on. It's really up to you. Uh, subtitles off. I think they're just a little distracting. Motion blur, please turn motion blur off. Then audio, uh, I have my master volume set a little bit lower. Sound effects also just a little bit lower just so I can hear people talk through Discord. Uh, music volume, I have set to zero. It's nicer for me recording videos to not have to worry about uh, conflicting music coming through. Uh, but if you're just a casual player of the game, setting music to 100% or whatever it is is fine. I think the music in this game is really good. I have my music off just for videos. Commentator volume, I also have off. It can also mess with videos a little bit and subtitles and things like that. But it's also a little bit distracting in game. I know a lot of professional players have commentator off, but if you are just a normal player enjoying the game and you want to listen to Scotty and June, leave it on. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Dialogue volume I have set to 100 just so you can hear certain things. Sometimes your character says things that can give you information, uh, but that's about it. 
Editing road in here, I almost missed something right here, and that is night mode right here. You want to turn this on. What this setting does is it kind of equalizes out all of the sounds. So in practicality, it's going to help you hear footstep audio better. So turn on night mode. Now for the video settings, I have borderless full screen on. That is because I do YouTube and I stream sometimes and I like to alt tab back and forth between things. There is an argument to run full screen exclusively if you want to absolutely maximize your performance. I've heard it doesn't matter as much on newer versions of Windows, so correct me if I'm wrong on that, uh, but I personally use borderless full screen. It's not a huge difference between that and full screen, but uh, you can run it if you want to. It's up to you. There's a reason to run full screen, but I don't think it's like a big enough reason for me to run it, especially when I have two monitors and I'm doing all that stuff. NVIDIA frame generation, I have that off. VSync, I have off. Low latency, I have on. Frame rate, I have set to unlimited. There is a reason to cap your frame rate if you want your game to feel just a little bit more consistent. I personally don't really notice it when I cap my frame rate, so I just have it on to unlimited, personally. Resolution 100, I have NVIDIA DLSS because I have an NVIDIA card. I think they did add this AMD one though. So I know a lot of people were looking forward to that. If you run AMD, this could be a better one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that one, but yeah, personally, I run NVIDIA on quality and then my field of view is set to 100. I'm used to playing games with high field of views back in Apex. I think I ran like 110 or whatever the max was. The only reason to lower your field of view is it sometimes makes targets appear larger on your screen, which can help some people with their tracking, but it also makes targets move faster on your screen as well. I like this field of view. It just personally, I like it. Some people run 95, some people run 90. I run 100. Motion blur off, lens distortion off. This is just distracting. Uh, I have static illumination. Uh, that's kind of the best for performance, uh, but you can run the other ones if you want to make your game look really, really pretty. I have all of my quality settings set to low, uh, except for texture, which is epic because it barely like affects performance at all. So yeah, that's my reasoning for that. In-game performance overlay I have off because I do YouTube videos. All right, and yeah, those are my in-game settings right there. Now there are a couple out of game settings that I'm going to show you that I think are very, very important. So let me walk you through those. All right, the first thing that I wanna to talk to you about is this right here. You go into your mouse settings. You can just search it up on your search bar and it should appear in this thing right here. Enhanced pointer precision. What this does right here is this makes it so that if you move your mouse faster, it sends your crosshair further across the screen, which is going to make your flicks less consistent. So you don't want that. Turn this off immediately. Don't have this on. It's bad. This is another important thing that you're going to do. You're going to type in your search bar percentage local app data percentage, all, all one word. Then you're going to get a bunch of stuff. But the thing that you want to look for here is you're going to look for something called Discovery. Discovery is the finals. That's their engine. Go to Saved, and then you're going to go to Config. Next, you're going to go to Windows Client right here, uh, or whatever it is. I assume you're on Windows, most likely. And then you're going to go to Game User Settings .ini. And this is going to open a text file. And as you can see here, it's got a bunch of basically all of your settings here. But there are some secret settings that the finals has in it that you want to turn off. So for some reason, the finals has aim smoothing in it. And for those of you who don't know what aim smoothing is, aim smoothing is basically where it like tries to get rid of your natural aim in a game and like smooth it out. But this is actually bad and it can mess up your aim. You don't want this at all. So you want to turn this off. So right here, as you can see, uh, if you take this, you copy and paste this into your own text file inside of this uh, these settings, you should be able to turn this off. So I'm going to have this in the description below for you to copy and then just follow the video, pull up this text file and then paste this in here. And honestly, your aim should hopefully feel better. If something ever felt off about your aim in the finals, this was probably it. And then just one final note before I go, I wanna remind you all, please, 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 
update your graphics drivers regularly. Most of the time, this doesn't cause any issues and it ends up just helping your computer. You can always roll them back if it does end up causing some sort of issue, but it's really, really rare for this to happen. And you should be like updating your graphics drivers all of the time. Just make sure all of the stuff in your PC is updated regularly. And with all these settings, you should be good to go. And so, yeah, that's personally all the stuff that I have set up for my finals. Hopefully this helps you out and hopefully you learn something new or you get some changes that help you out with your game in this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.